This is the Sabbath School lesson for the fourth quarter, 2020. Lesson 13 for December 19 to 25. Heaven, Education and Eternal Learning. Read by Dr. Percy Harold. Sunday, December 20, The Fate of the Dead. In the 1600s, a French writer named Blaise Pascal was ruminating on the state of humanity. For him, one point was very clear. No matter how long a human being lived, and back then they didn't live all that long, and no matter how good that person's life was, and life wasn't all that great back then either, sooner or later that person was going to die. Moreover, Whatever came after death was going to be longer, infinitely longer, than the short span of life here that preceded death. Thus, for Pascal, the most logical thing a person could or should find out is, what fate awaits the dead? And he was astonished to see people get all worked up over things such as loss of office, or for some imaginary insult to his honour. Yet they paid no heed to the question of what happened after death they were to die. Pascal had a point, and that's no doubt why the Bible spends a great deal of time talking about the promise awaiting those who have found salvation in Jesus, the promise of what will await them in the future. Question, read the following texts. What hope is offered us? John 6, 54, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. And John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And 1 John 5 verse 13, These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. And First Timothy chapter 1 verse 16, However, for this reason I obtained mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might show all long-suffering as a pattern to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life. And John 4 verse 14, But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst, but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. And John, chapter 6, and verse 40. And this is the will of him who sent me, that every one who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. And Jude, verse 21. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And Titus chapter 3, verse 7, that having been justified by his grace, we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Eternal life makes so much sense in light of the cross. In light of the cross, nothing else makes sense but eternal life. That the creator of the universe, the one who made the worlds, as it says in Hebrews 1-2, the one in whom we live and move and have our being, Acts 17-28, that he, God, should incarnate in human flesh and in that flesh die. For what? That we ultimately rot? Like roadkill? That's why the New Testament comes laced with promises of eternal life. For only the eternal guarantees restitution. A million years, even a billion years, might not possess enough good moments to make up for the bad. Eternity alone can balance all things out, and then some, because the infinite is more than the finite, and always infinitely so. Pascal was right. Our time here is so limited in contrast to what is coming. How silly not to be ready for the eternity that awaits us. So to finish the day... What do you say to someone who shows complete indifference to what happens after death? How can you help that person see just how illogical such a position really is? Hi there. Thanks for watching this video on the Advent Band Ministries YouTube channel. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to be alerted whenever we upload new videos. So, until we meet him in the clouds, may God continue to bless you.
This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind and Hearing Impaired, Christian Record Services for the Blind, the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel. You can also listen on the official Sabbath School 4 app and the Apple iTunes app, Sabbath School with Percy Harold. Remember, God is always faithful.